Hello, hello, and welcome back to I Make My Ex Play Outer Wilds with my ex. Arm, hello. And when we left off, we had stumbled our way in to Echoes of the Eye. I love that you thought the Echoes of the Eye was the Eye of the Universe. The Echoes of the Eye DLC. I, I would have wished it was. I would have wished. Oh. Oh, uh... You fucking scared the piss out of me! Why did you decide to talk to me this time? Shh, 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 shh. He, he, he's just tutorializing us on how to do a thing with the tracking. Because finding that thing would be really fucking hard if you didn't know how to do one of the fundamental mechanics of the game, which is setting up waypoints using your, uh... Because mm -hmm. it's invisible, you would need... It's important that you know how to locate things using this. Uh huh. God fucking fuck. Look at all those new clues and things and God damn it. The stranger. Uh, so cool. It is. So we know that it saw the stranger. A massive artificial ring world hidden within some sort of cloaking field. It does not appear to be Harthian or Nomai in origin. So when we first arrived, it feels like this was the area we arrived at. The River Lowlands. The low-lying region near the entrance to the stranger. There are wooden buildings along the bank of the river. There's more to explore here. The Cinder Isles. Or, uh, a pair of small rocky islands connected by a village of tilted houses. I found a large metal symbol for the eye of the universe burned inside of a or inside of a burned out building. So this fucking shit. You mm -hmm. see that replay arm? Mm-hmm. That was added in an update two weeks after I finished my playthrough. Oh. In my playthrough, we didn't get replays of the film reels. So if I wanted to see the contents of a film reel again, I had to go and find it and put it back in. Mm. Is that bad? Do you know how much time it would have saved for me if I had this? I spent full cycles trying to retrack down specific reels for information to check and to remind myself of things. Oh, you goob. So you get the more streamlined experience. Perfect, because I'm stupid anyway when it comes to these kind of things. A slide reel that shows the strangest inhabitants of analyzing the eye of the universe. Several slides have been burned and cannot be viewed. Okay. I saw a building marked with a unique symbol recessed into the, one of the canyon walls, but the bridge that used to lead to it is, has rotted away. A slide reel from the, si the Cinder Isles shows a glowing symbol and chains appear around a, si a strange vault. Yep. An enormous reservoir with a wooden pier and buildings on both shores. So, we can go explore the stranger more. Uh, what else do we got? We got the orbital probe cannon, which we haven't explored yet. Really? Let's go probe cannon. Yeah, we have not done that. Well, hang on. There's also ocean depths we haven't found our way to. The Ashtrin project we haven't found. Um. The Black Hole Forge on Brittle Hollow we haven't explored yet. There's more in the Sunless City we haven't seen. There's more in Ash Twin, the, the Ash Twin Towers we haven't seen. And that's all. So where, where do you want to go? Probe Cannon? Uh, yeah, Probe, probe Cannon. Alright, that's orbiting Giant Steep. Boop, 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 whoa! I'm so disappointed that those things were not the eye of the universe. At the same time, it's good that it wasn't, but also, god damn it. What do you think of it? Uh. I don't know. See, my, the secret is I try not to think. <laughs> um. Yeah, I don't know. I'm very confused by it, honestly.
I want to try and do a playthrough of this sometime without ever using locking on. Just manual navigation, playing it by eye. Wouldn't that be fun? Alright, oops. There's the probe cannon. Oh, that's the thing that breaks? We see it explode no. at the start of every cycle. Oh. Damn it. Hmm. Sorry. Got mesmerized by that shit. All good. My, 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 what have we here? A gravity field. Suck us in, please. Oh god. Oh god. Does it push out? No, it sucks. Okay. But I, I keep on... <laughs> Can't get it in? It's a landing pad. A landing pad. Oh, and zero G oh. in this section. This game makes me hard. I know, I know it does. That's so, why it's X, because you're gonna stop marrying this game. <laughs> it looks like it was at one point the same things they used to launch their ships on their world, just really long. But it just <laughs> exploded. Mm hmm. Ooh, that leads into open space. Probe tracking Probe module. Tracking module. That got fucked off. Looks like it. Launch module. Okay. Its doorway is broken, and it's got a broken window on mm -hmm. the far side. Can we still go in there? Not from we're here. Or from the outside, I mean, it's already broken. So we have to do a spacewalk. What do we have here? Coordinates, potentially? Control module. Control module, I see. Smart. At least one is still intact. Oh, your momentum is slowed down when you enter this room. I never noticed that. Golden Omai. Oh Ooh. That buzzing. Gravity force. What'd you say? That buzzing sound. Launch module plate. And giant steep plate. Which one do you want to use first? Well, giant steep seems more plausible. I have bad news, Evans. Jaro says there was a problem with the proposed power source, so the orbital probe cannon won't be asked to fire. I hope you're pulling my locomotive limb here, Kasaba. I wish I were, my friend, but no. They aren't certain they can fix the problem, so the orbital probe cannon is on indefinite hiatus. Mm -mm. Problem with the power source. Help Pivot and Malo, they should return from the cannon. My spouse and I will remain at the construction yard for now. An update. Malo and I will join you and Daz. Pivot left to visit her brother. She fears Idea may feel responsible. We've seen this one, remember? Ooh. No. When we were in the Southern po southern Observatory, we saw this. This pool. Oh, the pool, right. Malo, my better 50%. Kasova is sending the last of the cannon components. Soon, relatively speaking, we'll know the eye's precise location. 
Kasofa tells me he and the construction yard crew have determined a power setting. We are not under any circumstances to go above. I see. And am I right to think that consequently we'll be ignoring that setting? I can't posit we, with nearly 100% certainty our friends have accounted for our nature, so I suggest we do. Giving the orbital Brokren all the power it can structurally withstand creates the greatest chance of finding the eye of the universe. Yes, the probe must travel as far as it can. As far as it can. I'll make some adjustment. Oh, as fast as it can, sir. The thought of concluding our elders' curious and challenging search increases my heart's temperature, my love. We, we have the mad scientist couple right here. Mm. What is that light thing? Oh, okay. And now we're on the ceiling. Oh, what a feeling. Spinning balls on the ceiling. Mm -mm. Okay. Is that how we calibrate where it goes? Five minutes, 53 seconds ago. Request to launch probe received from Ash Twins Project. Cannon aligned with randomly selected probe trajectory. Gravity field activated. So it got a message from Ash Twin to aim in a random direction and shoot. And that's why it uh, discombobulated, probably. Sounds like we need to know what the Ash Twin Project do at some point now. <laughs> Boop! Oh, it's like a dick. <laughs> exactly like it. Orbital Probe Cannon. Launch request to see if probe launch successful. Probe tracking module is receiving data from probe. The so, tracking module the... that's missing. Uh, that's the room that's gone. Orbital probe cannon structure compromised during launch. Damage to multiple modules detected. So, it launched and broke. Mm hmm. Beep boop, bada boop bop. What is this? Orbital probe cannon damage report. Severe structural stress detected. Assessing damage to modules. Intact. No structural damage. It's weird when everything freezes. <laughs> Viewport window fractured. Module exposed to a vacuum of space. Probe tracking module. Missing. Hmm. Rest of piss. Very cool looking. Yeah. And that's that. I'm... I'm already terrified of the questionnaire at the end, because we're learning quite a lot this time, hey. I feel. We are, in fact, learning quite a bit. Well, what did we learn in this room? Uh, the thing combobulates since it randomly gets info from Astro Project. Yeah, Ash Twin tells right. it. To, Ash Twin tells it to launch. So why would Ash Twin be telling it to launch now? Probably some malfunction tied to the sun. The sun blowing up is making it tell the little probe cannon to launch. Yeah. What is Ash? What do we know about Ash Twin? That it's a power source that's supposed to suck the sun off, right? Mm hmm And what does it use that energy for? Uh... Sun station? Expanding the window on a teleport time dilation. Right, sorry. It's okay. I'm... I'm talking you through this to make sure you understand and are following what's happening. Wait, so, I'm gonna need that because I'm silly. Why do they want to extend the dilation? Uh, I don't know what their plan was. In our case, it's it's looping us it's backwards for... in time. 
So Ash Twin sends things back in time using sun energy, but Ash Twin also tells this thing to launch in a random direction. Oh look, a flying stone tablet. We got the control module and the pro tracking module. Let's start with this one. Okay. Yeah, it's the one we were already in. Okay. Hello. <laughs> Mwah. Oh, oh, fuck. Oh, shh, fuck. <laughs> kind of scared me a little bit, not gonna lie. Yeah, scared little, me too. Little, little pee in the pants. I was expected to be pulled back down by gravity. Mallow, my better 50%. Kasava is sending the last of the cannon components. Soon, relatively speaking, we'll know the eye's precise oh, location. On. We heard the other side of this one yeah. already. There you go. Imagine, Privet, the probe tracking module will be the first to know the coordinates of the eye of the universe. You'll be the first to see them. I'm honored and terrified. You won't ask the orbital probe cannon to use so much power that it breaks, will you? <laughs> Fret not, my nervous friend. We only need to fire the probe once, anyway. So, who minds if it compromises the orbital probe cannon's structural integrity slightly? I will bide, Mallow. I will bide, because we won't be capable of receiving our probe's data if the probe tracking module is destroyed. Hmm... The probe is that tracking the room module. that fucked up? This is the probe tracking module. Yeah, but it's not here, is it? That thing got launched, didn't it? We don't know. So we got- there's a statue. All of that. So what do we I see? Think cool. Electricity? And a weird... tower? Where could this be? That's something we gotta figure out. I don't know. I guess back to the ship for now. Okay, yeah. We see this launch at the start of every single cycle. So if we watch mm -hmm. it close... Maybe can we can- get its trajectory? We might be able to see where the thing went. Mm -hmm. The- the missing thing. Oh, and now we officially have the construction yard where they built it marked on here. Okay. What was the construction yard? It's where they built this, down in the yeah, water. Yeah, yeah, but do we know where it is? Uh... In Giant's oh, Deep. Oh, so, yeah, right. We can go to Giant's Deep and try and find that twister that takes us down, down, like a merry-go-round. We could do that. Hang on, let's... I saw the probe track module through the Nomai projection pool. It looks like the module is underwater. I could see purple electricity outside the viewport. Apparently our character well, got more of that than the us. The jellyfish going to come and clutch this time. Yeah, it's just talking about the stuff we already learned. So you want to go down to Giant's Deep? Yes. There's our hippy dippy. Oh, have we visited this guy? We have, right? Uh, hang on. Have we? The guy who lives on this place. I feel like we have to have. Hold on. Haven't we? Oh, we can swing by, say hi for a moment. I don't know if we've ever visited the guy that visited here. Remember, we can't jump on this planet, gravity's too high. Right. You can't. Like me! Ha! <laughs> So that's probably not a safe place to go. Maybe we've not seen this, Guru. Nice, it's you. 
Good to see you married to here in one piece. The first solo launch is a doozy, isn't it? So hey, don't freak out or anything. But I lately keep, like, dying repeatedly. Oh, it's pretty weird. What about you? Have you died lately, or is it just me? Uh, no, it's me too. We're in a time loop. Time has been behaving unusual lately. Yeah, a time, -like, a time loop makes sense. Cool. You're taking this pretty well. <laughs> right back at you. Personally, I like new experiences, and I've never been in a time loop before. I mean, I don't think I've been in a time loop before this one. It looks like you and I are the only ones who can tell what the that time's gone all weird. I tried radioing Hornfells and asked if he, if they'd died too, but they thought I was being metaphorical. Even if I tell Hornfells about the time loop, they never remember by the next one. They don't realize anything's different. And here's another weird one for you. Every time I die, all my memories from that loop replay back to me. I'm pretty sure that's related to this big no stone Nomai statue I found on one of the other islands. I was looking at it and the statue opened its eyes and started glowing. It replayed my memories like I'd seen something I'd seen them through my own eyes, just like what happened each time I die. So me with the statue at the museum. You too, huh? Then the Nomai statue must have something to do with the, with why we're all or why we're the only ones aware of the time loop. So no glowing statue, no time loop? Or no time loop awareness? I think that's going to be my leading theory. But if you find anything new about the statue or the time loop, let me know, okay? I'll be here. Anyway, that's what's uh, new with me. But hey, this is your first solo voyage, kind of. Let's talk about it to you, you know? How's space treating you? Uh, let's talk about it. what we found. I wonder if this asshole will remember it next time we talk to him. Nice, nice. What you got for me? Uh, found out what happened to the orbital probe cannon. Whoa, that's the cannon breaking apart at the start of each time loop. For real? Did you figure out why? Too much power. <laughs> Not over enthusiasm. <laughs> it's kind of scary how much that sounds like something Slay or Field Spy would do. I'm pretty surprised the Nomai built something that actually broke. Come to think of it, I thought broke might be the wrong. I think, though, broke might be the wrong word, because it looks like the orbital probe cannon is still firing successfully at the beginning of each time loop. Want to talk to more? Check our notes or what? Uh, we can just keep going, but that's cool. Cool, 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 cool. So we can come and talk with him. I can't believe we never visited him. I I'm glad we didn't. I'm glad we didn't. Wh why? Because it's better to meet him later. He was the first person I met in my loop, or in my run. Oh. Uh, or one of the first see, people I, I met. I feel like always meeting people that don't know and don't remember and then having one down the line that's like, yeah, I know, is, I think, better. I can't believe we never visited Gabro before now. And he mentioned a statue we... island where he saw his statue. If we recall, Gabro was the one that brought the statue to the museum. Mm -hmm. So he, there's another island that has statues on it. Oh, oh. oh it, we're right in a twister. So, how do we find one that's twisting the other way? Well... I guess we use our eyes. The core of the planet, which we've yet to reach. Alright, turning left, turning left, turning right. right. Has that worked? Has it taken us down all the way? There's the core. That looks like where the cannon part is. What do we do? Fly in? Ye no, we need a jellyfish. Why do we need a jellyfish? 
Because it's electrical and we need isolation, right? I mean, I'm being stupid. Maybe we can just go in. You want to try or find a jellyfish? What do you want to do? Uh, is there jellyfish here? I kind of want you to spawn me on this one. If, if I'm being... Oh. Okay. But they're... Smaller than our ship. Do we have to go inside it by ourselves? You want to try? Yes. Hang on. Hold on. It's already going in. We're too slow. We're too slow. So it's going through this little barrier here. Let's try and find another one. So I have a mild fear of o of open water. Same. I am nauseous right now. Oh. Oh, we missed that one. But that one's coming back up. I'm nauseous so. now too because I got an email and I've been waiting for an important email, but it's not an important email, it's just commercials. Ugh, scared the piss out of me. So he's all electrical. Mm-hmm. But on his side tentacles he's electrical. Ah, yes. For me. Is it going in? Or out? Our probe doesn't seem to want to go in. Oh god. I mean, I'm talking it's about the jellyfish. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Let's just stay inside of him. Okay. Oh god. Which is easier said than done. Why is it inky now? I don't like this. <laughs> it's like trying to spit us out. This is not how you did it. Oh. Okay, we're very close now. Okay. The electric field keeps right. bo sh pushing our scout away. Our scout just well, went through. Okay. Oh, oh, we're going through now. Oh. Okay. Let's dip out of this bitch. Thanks, Mr. Jelly, for hiding us in your butthole. Oh god, so dark. Turn the lights on. Please. Well, somewhere in here needs to be the cannon parts and the control bit. Oh look, over there it is! On the right. Up. Yeah. Up! I Yay. see it. Okay. I'm anxious. Oh, my whole... We can, we can do this. Easy. Like I said, this sort of feeds into an anxiety of mine. Oh, my whole... It's like me and Deep Space. Getting sucked into deep space <laughs> is my fear. Oh, this game must have been a nightmare, huh? Yeah. Uh, barf. Barf, barf, barf. Bonk. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Its eyes are open like the one in the museum after we looked at it. Mm hmm. Less time looking around, more time reading. We got Ash Twins Projection Stone. And Launch Module. Let's go with the Ash Twin Projection Module and quick, because I feel like we're running out of time. We are. The music's kicking up. And that's why I was like, less reading, like, less looking around, more reading. Get it into the fucking tablet. Tablet! I was looking for it. Enable reading. Okay. Oof. It won't pause time now. Oh, I have exciting news. Private the Astron project is almost prepared to receive the probe data from the orbital probe cannon. Rami is adding some finishing touches here, but she'll be finished soon. Are you and the orbital probe cannon well? You yeah, are. The statue here in the probe tracking module is ready to record a launch flight trajectory and will automatically transmit all relevant data to you. 
Once the probe determines the location of the Eye of the Universe, I'll send an alert directly to you and Remy. On the other appendage, I'm now worried about this canon's structural integrity and its crew moral integrity. Okay. Imagine, Privet, the probe tracking module will be the first to know the coordinates of the eye and you'll be We've the first to that. see them. Yep, we heard that. Crap, we're too slow. So it's a uh, rocket, okay. Fuck. Showing the probe launch. Receiving Isn't data from 9,318 no! probe. Visualizing current trajectory of probe 931A089. So that's how many uh -huh. times the probe has launched. Uh -huh. No. So, Curses. what did we learn? Uh, we have a uh, ally who also knows that this is happening from the statue he got from an island. Mm -hmm. Giant's Deep holds part of the cannon. Mm -hmm. It's launched a fuck ton of times. Mm -hmm. And we don't know what it's seeing. Look, look at it. It breaks. Oh, of course, this happened to be a time it was facing away from us. If you watch closely, <laughs> it launches. You can see it launch. Mm -hmm. See the blue light? See that blue light? Yeah, yeah, I see it. That's the probe. Oh. Every loop we've watched that thing launch in a different direction. Yeah. So it's by time say random. Loop. So it's given a new random direction every loop by Ash Twin. Mm -hmm. Because Ash Twin is designed to extend the length of a time loop backwards. Mm -hmm. So, the probe launches, flies for 22 minutes, gathers data, and then goes backward. And then when the the uh, and then Ash Twin project fires, and gathers all of the data from the probe and sends that backwards in time to tell the probe to launch in a new direction to look for the eye again. I see. Oh, and I guess soon, I don't see. Uh -huh. And as soon as it has the data, the coordinates of the eye of the universe, a person was supposed to look at it and tell the whole process to stop firing off so that they wouldn't mm. blow up the sun again. Because they were going to blow up the sun manually to power Ash Twins to, in order to send the data from the probe backwards in time. Mm -hmm. So instead of sending one probe, they could send... 9,000 probes for the cost of one. Mm-hmm. And just keep looping time. Damn. Nice. But yeah. I hope everybody's been enjoying Outer Wilds. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you want to see my original run-through of it, the entire playlist is on the YouTube channel, blah blah blah. You all know that spiel. Um... If you, you can help my channel grow by watching more of my content, and in that vein, in the upper left-hand corner will be the entire I Make My X Play Outer Wilds playlist, and the upper right-hand corner will be uh, another playlist put there by Future Brian, and the bottom right-hand corner will be a random video selected specifically for you by the YouTube algorithm, and in the bottom left-hand corner will be my most recent upload. Click on those to continue watching. I love you all, and ta-ta! Bye!